Hi everyone, I'm Leila Tiara Bella from the Ministry of Recovery. Today, I want to share with you more on what we do, our core values, and what do we really focus on. But prior to that, uh, allow me to just share with you who is the Ministry of Recovery set up for. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not just for the phoenixes of those who just came out of prison or the ex-offenders. Again, we call them phoenix. Recovery is for everyone, just like you and me. Every single one of us needs recovery every single day. It doesn't matter whether you're recovering from cancer or if you're talking about if you just go through, you went through a divorce, there's emotional recovery that you need. If you just lost a child, or you've gone through miscarriage, or postnatal blues, you need recovery in terms of emotional as well. Like what I've mentioned earlier, where addiction recovery is concerned, there are two prongs of it. Substance, as well as behavioral. Substance, as you know, as I mentioned, it includes drugs, alcohol, and anything that is tangible, whereby behavioral, it goes more towards societal, uh, LGBT, gambling. So it covers a lot on why we need a particular platform where we can recover. So let me tell, let me say again, it's not just for the Phoenixes that just came out of prison, it's for all of us. Now in every organization, you have core values. We do have core values as well. I don't want to bore you with the traditional core values, which include communication models, decision-making models. Uh, there's a lot more. But what I want to touch is two of the models, which is diversity and inclusion, as well as innovation and entrepreneurship model. Now, for the diversity and inclusion, why do we make it as a core value in Ministry of Recovery? It is simple as, in terms of diversity, we do not select who gets on to be with us on our platform. A diverse group of individuals, we are opening our doors to allow anyone to come in. Inclusion, we include everyone. So it's not an inclusion or exclusion. Every single one of you is special and we need recovery. So you're welcome. Why innovation and entrepreneurship? Why such model within the core values? For every single recovery or rehabilitation that you may have heard of, or you may be part of your business that we're doing right now, innovation and entrepreneurship is very important because what it does it engages an individual to be really busy, to engage them in their passion, to see what they can do with their passion, to make it as something that they can actually have it for a longer period, setting up a business. So one may say, Bella, I don't have the capital. I just came out of prison. Or I'm, I just, uh, I'm, ju I'm just a declared bankrupt. It doesn't matter. You should use what you have, your eyes to see the opportunity out there, the nose to smell the opportunity out there, the mouth to use all the experiences that you have before to get to the opportunity. It's easier if every one of us know what to ask. So this is why over here in Ministry of Recovery, we have the various platforms to encourage individuals to take part as an entrepreneur. So how do we engage them? We have competitions whereby we actually find the passion of this individual. For instance, if you love fishing, one may ask, Bella, I love fishing, what can I do? At most, I will just fish, I will just bring it home. I say, no. This is where the innovation portion comes in. This is where we infuse and we actually guide the phoenixes to try to infuse innovation and entrepreneurship. So you love fishing. How can you generate income? How can you monetize from fishing? Make it as a competition. Couple it with drones. Have you heard of drones fishing? 
there's a lot more platforms that we have. We never know if you won't come. Our doors are open. We challenge you. This is Bella. Thank you.